Hey guys, Dave Domingos here, sitting with John Schuler with Movement Mortgage. I've been in the industry a decade and does about 100 to 120 loans per year. And I get asked all the time, what's the difference between a pre-approval and a pre-qualification? Well, Dave, the difference is really simple. A pre-qualification just simply means that a lender, such as myself, talks to a client and we ask all the right questions, but we don't verify anything. So a pre-qualification means you're pre-qualified based on everything that you told us. Now pre-approval takes it a step further. That means we've seen your income, you know, your pay stubs and your bank statements. We've seen your credit report. Hi. And hi. We're gonna go take that. Good. Thanks. Oh. Thanks. Okay, she can keep it. Okay. This is fun. I'm oh, gonna... sorry. <laughs> so a pre or a pre-approval just simply means we verify everything that you've told us and we've seen your pay stubs and your W-2s and your tax returns, your bank statements, uh, we've seen your credit report, and we actually run it through an automated system called desktop underwriting. Okay, right there. So when someone's putting an offer in right now, is it better to have a pre-approval or a pre-qualification? Well, in a market like this, you need a pre-approval. You can't, you, nobody yeah, will you look heard at you on right a pre from the pro. Almost, <laughs> almost no seller will look at a pre-qualification right now because they want to know that things have been verified before they take their house off the market. Awesome. And how do they get a hold of Movement Mortgage other than going through me first? Oh, you can uh, look me up on the website. Um, just type in John Schuler Movement Mortgage, or you can give me a call at 858-436-8248. Uh, awesome. And we have a couple deals we're working on together right now, so thanks so much for your time. You're welcome. Thanks, Dave. Okay.